Hi folks, my name is Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira and I'm here today to show you just a few of the highlights of the Construct 3 release 327 stable update. Now this is a big update with loads of new stuff in it, I'm just going to cover a few of my favourite highlights. Now, my favourite thing in this release is a new feature called Tile Randomization. Have you ever had the problem where you drop in a tiled background, it looks good, but when you zoom out, the tiling pattern becomes very obvious. Now there's a new feature in this release called Tile Randomization, where in the tiled background properties you can just tick the box and it will randomise all the tiles seamlessly, so you can't see any repetition and you can't see any joins either. That's pretty cool. Um, to show you how it works, I can just quickly turn off uh, the randomization, and what it does is essentially randomizes the angle and the offset of every tile. So if I just move that, you can see each of those tiles rotating independently. And if you set the um, properties all to 100%, then it will fully randomize it. And you can see how the X and Y um, offsets also affect each of the individual tiles. And it blends the edges so it looks seamless. So it's a, a great way to solve that problem of repeating uh, images in tiled backgrounds. That's a great new feature to play with. Okay, next up I'm going to show some new autocomplete features. Uh, if I drop in this example, um, first let's look at what's already been supported. So I've got a uh, sprite with a string instance variable called uh, state, and it's got an initial value there, and it's also referenced in some events. Now if I create an action which references that instance variable, you can see the autocomplete suggests uh, the strings that it's found both in event sheets and in the properties from the layout view. This is an existing feature, maybe you don't know about this but there you go, that's a cool thing uh, you can use. The new feature is that now also appears in the properties bar here. So now if I select a new instance and I want to set the state instance variable, it now suggests uh, the same set of strings taken from both the uh, event sheets and the other initial values in the properties bar. So this creates a nice way to quickly set uh, strings to existing values, uh, saving making any typos. Great, next up I'm going to show you some uh, more new find uh, features. So we've uh, done some work on the uh, search features in the previous releases. And now uh, this is the Go Shooter code example, which is all implemented using JavaScript code. Um, now there's a new option to search in text-based project files as well. So previously you could only search in event sheets, now you can choose to search in project files, and um, if I type in a search term, you can see um, it will highlight results in text-based project files as well. That's not just JavaScript codes, that also works with text files, um, JSON files, XML files, anything text-based, you can now search using the find bar. We've also made some improvements to the usability of the searching features, so if you use this, hopefully you'll find that it's working a little bit nicer for you. The last thing I'm going to cover in this video is that when you export to NWJS, this is our main platform for exporting Windows, Mac OS and Linux apps, uh, there are some new options. So there's now a, an option to enable DevTools, um, and the main new one is you can enable export for Steam. So in the past, when you wanted to publish an NWJS app to Steam, there'd be various command line options and various uh, changes you'd have to make to get it to work with the Steam overlay in particular. Now you can just tick this box and Construct will configure the app for you and make sure it integrates nicely with uh, other Steam features such as the overlay. So hopefully that will make your life a bit easier if you are publishing to Steam. Now that's all I'm going to cover in this video for now. As I said, there's loads more new stuff, so take a look at the release notes uh, if you want to see the full rundown of uh, all the new things. There's things I haven't covered such as 3D audio, multiplayer, data compression, improvements to timelines and the animations editor, and uh, plenty more, so take a look at those. And um, we hope you enjoy this release.